Play data monitors all radio stations in your region and chart songs by number of plays. Welcome to the PDC Podcast. Welcome, welcome to the PDC Podcast. We're here to share with you our beloved listeners the latest sounds, celebrity news, mm. fashion, and hot topics yeah. trending yeah. in Africa and throughout the diaspora. I'm your girl, Ooh. Dami O, and with me is a troublesome but handsome DJ Wolfgang. Ha, I'm just too handsome for this show. In fact, I'm hanging up. I'm going to hang up my mic. I'm not doing it again. Mm-hmm. I'm too handsome. Ah, ah. Pepper them gang. Fine, <laughs> boy. No pimples. Actually, I'm having pimples. I, I was saw pimples on your face, the you have a few pimples. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But anyway, if any of our sponsors are listening out there, please send free pimple cream. Your boy was getting to be fine. <laughs> prom is coming, you know. Prom is coming. Which prom at your age? I'm sorry. Don't 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 release my age. You're talking about air, your please. child's graduation from high school. Just You're talking me, about just, just prom is coming. Forget I said anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how was your weekend? How are you doing? Yo, my weekend. It's been one of those really, really busy weekends. March has been a busy month. I can't wait for March yeah. to be over. What? Everyone can't wait for something to be over. Please enjoy March while it's here, Joe. Because next thing is December and then you're like, ah, where did 2017 go? Ah, don't worry. 2017 is going to have a lot of great things in store for us. Ah, I have it I'm planned, excited right? about this year. Ah, you still didn't give me my massage, Joe. I won't. <laughs> Leave this massage matter. Leave matter for Matthias. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Wuske, do you want to tell our audience what we're doing today? Okay, so today we're going to be talking about huh, some people stealing music. Thefting. What's going on? Yeah, thefting music, thefting, you know, lifting, copying and pasting Thieving, music. Thieving, uh, evacuating. Yeah. Oh, Lord in heaven. Music. <laughs> Pir- <laughs> pirating in front of everybody and um, that's uh, the the guys are g worldwide they're having some uh, copyright problems and that's over back in nigeria um and then we're gonna uh try to see if we can catch up with what uh the band is up to uh lately and um we'll be talking uh about uh, some social issues hmm, let me not even get started in some tv shows that we watch in africa big brother there are some problems um yeah and then um when we have a special guest um neola this week neola in the building (laughs) and yeah so um and then if anything else of course we still have our quiz at the end of the uh of the interview of of the uh podcast so wait so as you are quizzing hope you're answering your own questions because you're not going to Disgrace that means you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. It's going to be a quiz, Jesus and you're going, be to to, you're going to have to do better than two out of three that you did that last time. I so. try my best, you know. I'm mm-hmm. a smart girl, but I try to be humble sometimes, not to make uh, you feel uncomfortable. See, see. Don't worry, I, I got you. I, I know your number, so <laughs> I'm ready for you this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Well, no, no, well, you can go away for like 10 seconds and then come back quickly with a drink of water. Yeah, so. <laughs> they should stay here. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> stay. <laughs> they should have had their popcorn and drink in hand prior oh, to really? starting the show. Yes. Yeah, true. Okay, we'll be right back. Welcome, Welcome to the PDC Podcast. Podcast. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy DJ Wuske with Dami. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I've told you when you're calling my name, put some respect mm. on it, throw some compliments, okay, take some Okay, okay, let facts. me bring it. Let me, let me bring it down from the from my gut. It's Dami. Oh, 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 oh. The beautiful, the talented, uh, the smart, mm. the one, mm-hmm. the Can only Dami. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you. I'm, I'm hanging over. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> anyway. So this week we're gonna start off with talking about um, uh, G Worldwide um, and this uh, problem they are having with uh, stealing songs. Um, okay, so in actual <laughs> in actual fact, <laughs> it's songs. kind of funny. It's kind of funny. It's, it's like it's like it's like they because you know, and we've talked about this on the show before. Because there's no actual um, uh, enforcement of uh, copyrights and all those things, mm-hmm. it's sad. and so. Yeah, and, and people don't sign documents when they're in the studio and working on stuff. They just I can't believe people are still doing that in 2017. 
Yeah, it's it's about you know the government in some African it countries. It has nothing right? to do with government. So blaming government. If you are getting to a business contract, you should sign documents. It's not word of mouth. Black and white signature. Ink. So here's the deal. Use here's the, the deal. It's not. It's, so this this is my point. It's like the government is not even solid yet. Like they don't even have their their stories together. Not to talk of people now coming to, you know, it, it's the, the problem starts from the top right and it filters down so people do a lot of things informally in fact sometimes you have building contracts that people haven't signed anything they just go and they agree and they start building i mean it's it's kind of like that yeah, in, in a lot the uh, government has not finished fixing light issues copyright they want to they, they, they want to be chasing around I yeah so so people don't take responsibility for things um uh, what we're actually talking about is um sugar boy did a song with um an, an artist called bars in 2016 and apparently they love that song so much they remove bars Adek is Daniel <laughs> Adek is Daniel and then re-released it same song name Jesus. they committed I mean, daytime highway robbery they evacuated the song and gave it another tenant exactly it was it's kind of funny because kiss daniel and sugar boy are on the same label That's bars sad, is like uh, yeah bars is uh, an up coming artist invited you know kiss daniel uh, i mean a uh, sugar boy to be on his track and uh, you know the person i actually blame who do you blame I, I i actually blame the producer of that track i blame the producer i blame bars record company <laughs> but i mean here's the deal. if you're if, gonna if, do if, a if, collaboration with your art with another artist from another label you should have done your groundwork get the paperwork sign, sign the contract sign. yeah you know know what the policies are for you know collaborations yeah but but knowing how the environment is like in nigeria right i i know that if the producer had put his foot down that stuff would not have gone down the way it did if the producer had said look man i'll make you another beat let's let's do another song there's nothing sugar boy can do sugar boy cannot get the instrumental from from you know from anybody else so, so the producer's th- name is louis amg it's your fault and Lu- you yeah, louis better. amg Louis AMG should get six strokes, six lashes of cane. No, that's too harsh. She just pick pin. Pick pin. He should just kneel down and raise his hand. hand yes, pick pin. <laughs> kneel down, raise up your hand and close your eyes. Louis AMG, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, and I think, I think the silent, mu- um, the silent music company is, I mean, well within their rights to sue. No, you, yeah, to sue, but a lawsuit like that. It, especially in nigeria take i don't years. know it will take years it's a waste of time no it could even take minutes but the fact is in nigeria for the most part is the person with the most money or with the most clout that wins a case um not necessarily it's just that if you have more money you just get the money to drag the case longer and the longer you drag it <laughs> you see if the underdog will be tired here's actually my point it's not it's not even about dragging it dragging the case longer is like a u.s thing right in nigeria if you can pay off the judge you get what you want not anymore so, things have changed though have things changed they've changed so it might just take seven years just seven years to judge the case mm-hmm. and come to a conclusion you know just seven years it's not much seven years uh, on, on one song on one song just be adjourning it for seven years every time i join it after seven yeah. years bars will win yeah no and and that's you know i actually 100 percent i disagree with you on that because even in 2016 a lot of people a lot of politicians were brought to the court for money laundering and that you know is still there no no some some of them have already been they've been cleared they've been cleared because somebody's been paid off and I, oh, oh, oh i will tell you there's a case of uh, a, a, a judge that the, somebody kept paying him off or maybe it was a joke i don't know the of a judge that somebody kept paying him off for oh they said no it was just a gift because his uh, father-in-law died. yeah or, or his oh, son got married gift. or something silly like that exactly so it, gifts like that are happen, the ways they pay off the justice the system like, yeah. i'll give you an example now like the apple six killing and then the the girl that got murdered in a hotel in festac uh the ochogu girl yes it did take mm. five six years for the case to be finally decided but as of today mm. they found the killers guilty and you know charged them yes it took a couple of years but justice was served 
wow i i just hope i don't so get it might not be it might, it might not be in, in swift but you know they'll just keep dragging it see one mm. one party is either tired or they are both stubborn and keep going which is sad wow. but justice will get served at some point it might just not be immediate yeah yeah now if you want if you guys want to take a uh, take a look at the case yourself or well not the case but uh the post about um you know uh g worldwide you know stealing a song from uh the the silent music company um it's on our website at playdatacharts.com and um you can you can read up on all the stories and you can check out the video um of the song is called Kilamiti. I don't know what that means, mm-hmm. but K I K I L A M I T I is the name of the original song, and then the stolen song they has put y. they took the I out of the back <laughs> and they put Y, so it's a different. This guy cannot <laughs> even steal. Song. Yeah. They can't yeah, even yeah, rename yeah. the song. They just stole it and removed I mean, the I and put the Y. Yeah, this reminds me of um, the uh, Seagull Bay. Do you did you remember that from oh like four God, five years ago? Oh my God, that was so disgraceful too. Y- yeah, where? But you know the sad uh, where, part about uh, this. By the end of the day, like Davido did pay, you know, um, a password for Gobe. Yes, now he paid him like he paid him like uh, I think half a million naira or something. Like but time, this yeah. is my thing. I don't know what G Worldwide and uh, what's his name, Sugar Boy are thinking. This guy shot the video for the song last year, November 2016. This video yeah. is on YouTube with over 3,000 views. And they still went and stole the song and released it. Like, who does that? Funny thing about it is, I, I actually want, I, I, again, I've not listened to Bar's version, but I actually want Bar's to now turn out to be a bigger artist than any of these other guys. It's going to be super funny. Well, to better me. still, just do a new mix of the song and put Bar's on it, and it'll be like a three combo Bar's, Sugar Boy, Kiss uh, Daniel. Uh, that's not going to happen. Quality. There's already bad blood. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well, if they said anyway. they were to do that, hey, Bar's, there's nothing wrong. These guys are, you know, upcoming. People know them. They might, you know, help you with some following. ETC, ETC. Yes. Okay, we're going into break. Ready for this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. It's your boy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Ooh, when I do, yeah, 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 that's Some a reggae ball. sound. That, that, uh, yeah, what's that? What's that sound? Yeah. Are you are you driving you know a when, fire you know, truck? You know what happens. You know when they are a group of people that are singing together, they have alto, soprano. So I'm supporting oh. you. So when you go that, pum, 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 I say, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm tired of you. Okay, now we have to go on break. I'm, I'm serious. I have to go and get a drink of water for this. <laughs> it's your boy DJ Uske and Damio on the PDC podcast. Welcome back, Damio, and we'll be right back after this short break facts charts entertainment and music the pdc podcast live in five four three two one we have lived off hi people this is your girl damio and this is wolf scare we're back <laughs> hey we're back we're back we're back we're back so we're gonna be talking about the band coco master the master of the, the coco let's coco let's the band the band what's his name on instagram again eh? i am bangali well, but Bangali, why? What's that? That's it. That's awful. No. Change it back. Uh, what is Bangali? I don't know. That's why I say change it back. I don't know. I don't return it. I don't mind. I like the band. Return it. The band. Bangali. Uh, he's alright. Remember, when, he's remember all right. when he had that? His a uh, bunch of artists, and all of them had Lily, Pokoli, Kesuichli. <laughs> ah! Wait, uh, Pokoli was turned to Nikki, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> Was Kelly? What does? Damili. What does Pokoli <laughs> mean? I'm so tired of that whole situation, man. Just, is this, are, are they actually releasing music? I mean, he's he's uh he's, he's label. Like, hey what guys, are they doing? Just Damili. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to cut your call, I swear. I'm going to just I'm going to hang <laughs> You're not gonna get tired of this, are you? Are you? <laughs> Um, oh my god can you imagine look at her i'm shocking was kelly <laughs> no lee no. can you stop it bruce lee he sounds like a Jackie handbag was kelly was kelly <laughs> if there was a bag was kelly would you wait it sounds like one of those gonna must go kind of bag was kelly <laughs> oh no oh no oh gosh see what i have to deal with every day see the problem <laughs> Well, I mean, guys, I'm, I'm starting not to miss you again, no, because oh, I missed you already, and yeah, now it's all love. You know, I'm reducing the mi- it's all I'm reducing love. the missing. What's scary? It's mm, all you love. It's all, if you notice, I'm much nicer to you. It's because I missed you too. I miss you small. Oh, small. I feel so fuzzy in my chest. Get out. 
<laughs> anyway, guys, let's talk about what Dibanj has been up to lately. Hey, so, he? uh, he's here, but you know, he's doing other stuff outside recording music and releasing music. He lately mm. formed a company, or should I say a partnership, between his company DKM, MTN, and the Bank of Industry to pioneer a new service that provides creative content that will be financed, published, marketed, and distributed with traceable monitoring by content owners without leaving their comfort zone. I have a question. What in the world is Bank of Industry? Ah, the Bank of Industry, now they support industries um, in Nigeria, entrepreneurs, they give loans and stuff. Bank of Industry. There is such a thing. There's there's an actual bank called yeah, Bank of Industry. Yeah, Bank of Industry. Ah, she opened an account there. Which industry are you in that you're opening an account? They don't they don't support DJing. I, I mean the DJ industry, right? So I can't get no, small loan for my DJ no, business. When you want to start your bag, with Skelly, <laughs> they can't give you. <laughs> oh, they no. can't give you oh, loan no. for Wuskeli. Oh no, I'm tired of you already. Like I'm already tired. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start calling you Wuskeli from now on? No, you can't. No, don't do that. I like don't the do sound that. Of Remember you. that the band, the band's career turned, did something when he started calling himself Bangali. Oh, so we need to stop. Don't do that. Don't do that to my career. <laughs> Leave my All career right, guys, alone, please. Let me explain what this platform is. It's called Cream Platform. Let me bring it down to lame man's english basically cream, cream like bleaching cream cream mm. like okay. ice cream uh, cream or she baddest like yeah. whipped cream mm, it's, <laughs> it's called cream platform creamily <laughs> creamily <laughs> <laughs> it's called cream platform and this platform was put together basically to help artists with their music in terms of like recording shooting videos helping them with doing collaborations with other artists like linking them up and making sure that the collaborations are done properly in terms of like legal ways in terms of making sure that everybody signs a contract not that they'll be falling into a theft kind of situation if you know what i mean Mm, i see um Mm -hmm. he's also doing this basically because he wants to improve distribution of entertainment products in the whole african union and also wants to create mm. a way to monetize and monitor musical content and all the catalogs of music in the African Union. For me, that's a kudos. It's good mm. to see the band branching out from Philly. Uh, uh, but actually, it's not Philly. It's not leaving it alone. It's actually holding it stronger. Mm-hmm. You see? But, but but here's the funny thing. You know, we're talking... Um, um, you know, the last couple of weeks we've talked to uh, two different people who were talking about monetizing and monitoring, you know, distribution of content and having people, you know, be able to pay, get paid, you know, for their musical content, mm-hmm. you know, and their catalogs. And I wonder if there's any link between what Mr. Lee is doing and what Play Data is no, doing. No, I don't think it's the same. They're not doing like charting or, you know, uh, following uh, radio airplays and um, streaming and stuff. I think he's okay. just trying to create like a a, a startup that provides mm. um, certain services for artists that are already registered, um, um, known and artists that are not well known. Like a collective. Like you're an artist, mm. you're a creative. I'm going to bring you together with like minds of people that know how to do recording, people that know how to shoot videos, mm. people that are, um, you know, know how to do marketing it's just i think it's okay. a it's a startup startup hub for people that are creatives in music to meet with the artists so, so that's what this cream yes, platform to me, is from what i read and you know researched about that's what okay. it seems like okay that makes sense it makes sense it makes sense so so it's not a label his label is dkm yes his label is dkm he's not this artist so, is not signed to him they're not under his label he's just creating so, so, an so that, avenue to you know get them out there so the so the cream platform is that is kind of like um uh like a vivo god right? bless you what are you yeah of course guy. before now I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm the finest finest sharpest liest mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm enjoying myself right now i'm just ju- i'm juking my shoulders up and down mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah like it's just a, a, a creative platform hub for people in the industry like okay let's say you're a new artist you're trying to get state of the world uh, recording done for your new music or whatever. This hub is going to mm. link you with people that are experts in like, let's say, recording experts in like mu- music video production, experts in marketing, which I feel it's something that is needed in Nigeria. 
well yeah so i i think i think that it's it's i mean it's it's great i mean again it's it's a hard environment to do startups in nigeria especially with the Continue, you know, the continued fall of the Naira. Um, no, it's coming up. Uh, it's coming. The, the, it's coming up. It's not falling down. It's picking itself up, small, small. Yeah, but here's the deal with inflation, right? Is what happens is when when the value of a currency drops, when it picks up, it never picks up even up to half of where of it course, was before. Of so yeah, so so it's still a net. It's a net loss, you know, for anybody holding Naira, and and I th- and and I think that the, the, a lot of the problems with the economy. Uh, uh, and make it just hard for people to start new things. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I'd, I'd like to give unless you if know, you're making shout dollars. out, shout out for doing that. Yeah, shout out to the ba- yeah, yeah. to Bangali. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a good. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> he's doing a good job. So, so that means that the people who release music through his platform are not necessarily signed to no, his not. label. So far, he's, okay. he's released five videos, and um, he's released a video. Uh, of a song that he featured in by Race, and the song is called Shiki Shiki. Mm. Um, then another okay. song by TK Swag. I think he might be a new artist. Never really heard about him. TK Swag, mm. and the song is called Check Your Alert. And there's another. Check it. Godwin. I'm helping. Godwin. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't help you again. I and then another again. song by Lake Benson called Adura. Another song by mm. MKJ called Jodada. And another song by Legendary Courage called My Story. I like that guy's name, Legendary Courage. <laughs> legendary. You can say legendary anything now. Legendary Dummy. No, legend- Swagalicious. Mm-hmm. Legendary Courage. That's a strong name. Legendary Dummy. <laughs> that is not a strong name. <laughs> so, yeah, most of all these artists are not signed to him in any form or shape. These are independent artists doing their own thing on the other labels. But they've been able to use mm. the platform him and MTN and Bank of Industry have created as an avenue mm. to get their work out there. So mm. I'm going to give a thumbs up to Bangali. It works, it works, it works. So I, I hope I, once we finish this segment, you can just stop with all that Lee business. I mean, can I just because do one more next... thing? One more thing. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Oh, God in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> shout out to the band. Again, we appreciate, you know, I mean, he's doing, he's, he's, he's climbing and it's an uphill battle, but I mean, we appreciate all his efforts. And next on the show, we have an interview with Niyola Lee. Niyola Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Niyola, and welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm really flattered. So, what inspires you to make music? Who or what is your muse? Um, what inspires me to make music? Music is, I, would, I always say that music chose me, you know. Music is, um, music is a part of me, has always been a part of me. And my muse is life itself. You know, things that happen to me, things that happen around me, things that I think of. My mind is very, very, very imaginative so sometimes i think of scenarios in my head sometimes i read a book i watch a movie sometimes i'm staring at something and i'm thinking of situations and that's what inspires my music so life in itself is what inspires the music that i make you have a very unique sounding voice and you recently partnered with legendary fuji acts pasuma what inspired your collaboration um i've always loved fuji because i think that fuji is a very very unique genre of music I grew up wondering how they would, you know, make their voices sound like that. Because there's, no, apart from maybe like the Arabs or um, the way they, they do the call to prayer for Muslims, there's no way in the world that they sing like that, apart from maybe Indians, which is also a totally different thing. So I've always been a fan of Fuji, especially Pasuma. So it was like a dream come true for me to feature him on, on one of my songs. And that was what inspired the collaboration, basically. In 2016, you organized a concert titled Yours Truly. Is that what your next album is going to be called? Yes, I did organize a concert. It was amazing. It was really amazing. And for me, it was very, very... um, It was a pivotal moment in my life because it was my first ever um, live concert where I was the one performing to the audience alone. And I performed with my with my band, an all-girl band called Bella Groove. 
just you know some young women who I found I handpicked them because they had and they still have great talent and this uh, vocalist amongst them bass guitar player the drummer you know and that really just intrigued me and inspired me to put together this concert especially also because in the society that we live in in Nigeria let's face it you don't really have that opportunity to perform the way that you want as an artist and that was what inspired me during that concert expressing myself in a way that nobody had ever seen me and showing people what I truly um, was made of and obviously also to push my um, women empowerment <laughs> agenda which I think that especially in, in Nigeria not only in Nigeria Sha, but I'm speaking as a Nigerian people people when people hear of female empowerment or feminism they just think it's anti-men and it's not the case so that whole move was to just you know say something about women being powerful and being able to do something if they put their minds to it um the name of my album well the at the time that was my working title your studio is my working title but right now as we're speaking i have an ep which i'm working on which obviously have a different title so yes the album that's going to be released will most likely be called yes truly and if there's going to be an album are we going to hear any legendary features um i don't know what you mean by legendary features but i like to think that every song that i make is legendary so definitely if there'll be any features it would be legendary like that answers your question that, okay um i heard off the grapevine that yam is your favorite food could you confirm oh yes yam is Why? my favorite food Why? yam in any and every form fried yam boiled yam roasted yam anything related to yam and more potatoes you know and whatnot yes i definitely definitely love yam Yam and um, garden egg sauce, that's my favorite meal in the entire world. There's nothing that tastes, there's nothing that tastes like yam. There's nothing. I, I don't know. The taste, yam is just yam. You know, like, I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm in Malaysia. My dad is from Malaysia. My mom is from Ikiti. So, you know, it's not my fault. The apple didn't fall too far from the tree. So, I guess that's where that came from. We're glad your health is back up to par. Um, how do you, you know, give them figure hate? You know, how do you say, stay so fit, so fine looking? Um, I've tried not to eat anyhow. <laughs> I'm very conscious of what I ingest, of what I put in my body. I don't drink fizzle drinks. I drink only water or like natural um, juices. Like if I had to drink pineapple juice, it would be freshly squeezed. If I had to drink orange juice, it would be freshly squeezed. Unless uh, I have some craving, which is very, very, very rare. But most of the time, I just drink water and milk if I have to, because I love milk. And I work out. I work out. Sometimes um, it's really intense. Sometimes it's light. But really, mostly just to stay fit and have stamina as an artist because it helps your singing if you're able to work out as well. All right, thank you so much, Newell. It's been so great having you here with us today. Yay. We love you. We wish you <laughs> lots of luck and success mm -hmm. in your future endeavors. Please feel free to Yay. stop by again. We love having you here with us. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I hope to come back next time if you invite me. Until then, bye bye. Yay. Bye bye. You have tuned in the PDC podcast. All right, guys, we're back with me, Dami Lee, and Wuska Lee. Oh, Oh Lord in heaven! <laughs> I can't stop saying Lee. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh gosh! I can't stop saying Lee. All right. On a serious note, guys, I'm about to talk about something that bothers me so much. Like when I read about it, when I heard about it, when I saw it, I was just. Wait, which one did you do? Now, did you read here or? I see? heard. I read. I saw. I ah oh. no. Mm. What's good? Start it because 
no okay so so here's the deal right so we, we want to talk about um uh, uh something that happened on a, on a on a on a tv show in nigeria mm. called uh B- big brother so the big brother nigerian version started um a couple of months ago i believe yeah ja- i think it was january late january uh, early february uh, okay and then it's due to end in april right i think or yeah i think it ends in april okay and and so a huge problem was um over the last uh, month or so was um one of their participants who um who had a habit of of touching women <laughs> without their consent um, what's can i ask you i mean guy has a habit <laughs> yeah, he's a habitual has a habit woman touching toucher. women yeah but but here's but, but what actually happened is this and this is what caused a lot of conflict is that because of that habit he got kicked off the show as should be and then yes as it should be and then people started pointing out uh, other uh other times when people were doing things without con- consent you know particularly when some women did the same thing and they didn't get kicked off the show and that kind of thing so yeah but i mean i think they, it just outlined one of the major problems you know with you know with how in africa generally you know, how how society how, well how everywhere so? really but, but what, is, how society this, really I, is. I would say africa because going through social media and reading the comment section and what people were saying it scared me and it baffled me because i came to the conclusion that a lot of people back home don't understand the concept of consent and it scared me because they put are like, oh, well, the guy who was kicked out, his name is Kemen. And um, the mm-hmm. lady that he fondled was called T-Boss. They were saying, well, mm-hmm. T-Boss asked Ken- Kemen to give her is it a back massage or a neck rub a few days before mm-hmm. that. So if she yeah. did that, then she was a willing participant. But check the backstory. They had a party that night. She drank and she was tipsy and fell asleep Mm -hmm. this kemen of a guy came Mm -hmm. into her bed when he couldn't handle himself and decided to touch her while she was asleep now the gag Mm -hmm. was she didn't even know she was touched she moved but she didn't know that she was being touched so the next day big brother called her into the confessional room and told her to open a laptop and basically showed her the video replayed the video of when Mm -hmm. kemen or ken what's his name Kemen or Kenem. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever his name is, Mr. K. Yeah. <laughs> when he touched her inappropriately in her sleep. Mm. Now, for me, I have to give a big kudos to Big Brother Nigeria because I felt like they set the tone for what should be by eliminating him from the competition. Because if they had let him stay there, it would have set a bad precedent and made it look like that kind of behavior is acceptable. Now, what baffled me was the reaction of the other roommates, especially the females, when um, mm. Ke- Kemen got kicked out. And it made me just feel bad because I feel like, you know, sometimes we say we want to empower women, we say feminism, women pulling women up. But in all honesty, women are their own biggest enemy. Because when this happened and Kem, Kem- what's his name? Mr. K. I don't want to call his full name. Mm-hmm. Mr. K got kicked <laughs> out. The females in Mm. the house, without even knowing what happened, jumped to the conclusion Mm. that it was T-Boss's fault. And they went uh, against her immediately. And I was like, okay, what is wrong with these people? Any rational thinking person or any sensible person in that kind of situation will not judge first. Would Mm. wait to listen to both parts because it's a delicate situation. Someone is asleep, Mm. someone is touching the person. That's not something that you can just jump to conclusions about without having both sides of the story. So it was very disappointing, especially Bisola. I used to like Bisola a lot, but ah, the way Bisola behaved and that whole thing, that thing pained me to this, it pained me to the core, to the spirit. <laughs> but but you but you do know that you know a lot of the time, and that's what makes this um, this uh, episode of Big Brother Nigeria um, so so interesting is that they construct these situations right so they they a lot of the things they do is on on instruction mm-hmm. 
which which is why the 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 sponsors for Kemen, right? So each 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 uh, housemate has like some company that is backing mm-hmm. them, kind mm-hmm. of. That's why the sponsors for Kemen have reportedly not dropped him as you know. Yeah, that's what pissed me off. He as, came out and they sponsor. gave him an endorsement for what? You're endorsing someone that doesn't understand that you do not touch people unless they give you a green no, light. No, that's what, that, that, and that's this is what I'm telling you is that that Ishele, that thing that happened, <clears throat> right? It probably because again they know that they're being watched and all these things, right? And and in a lot of these cases, a lot of regular people don't um they they act shy when people are watching them. So there's direction to everything that everybody is doing in the house. And that thing that he did, I'm almost a hundred percent sure that it was Big Brother that told him to go do those things. Hey, and so here part we, here of we the, go with yes. the conspiracy theory. See, I don't believe. No, it's not. Co- I don't no, believe no, Big no, Brother no, made Mr. See. K do anything. I believe that Mr. No, K has problems. No, uh, with no. So, so have you have you looked behind the scenes? Have you looked behind the scenes at how a lot of these reality TV yes, shows are made? Yes, but Mr. K, uh, I agree with you. But Mr. K, Mr. K has self control issues. Big brother did not make no, him so, go so, fondle someone in their sleep. No, 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 no. So, so this is the deal. Like, this is how these things are orchestrated, right? So they will make one person be the the fondler. They will make one person be so the loud mouth. So, Mister Mister K, make one person... allowed them allowed them to use the devil so, to use him. So, so I'm not. Uh, so what? I, this, this, this is what I'm telling you is that, um, and I'm not saying there's anything right about what he did. I'm saying there's everything wrong about what he did, but what he did might have been spurred by Big Brother. Okay, so I've got a question Not... for you, Wuske. Yes, go ahead. Right. Mm-hmm. You're a man. Mm. You're a grown man. Yeah. And yes. I want to know your own opinion about mm-hmm. Kemen's actions. Do you feel like he did anything yeah. wrong? Or like I just didn't. said, I just said it. I just said, I just said it. I just said it. I'm not supporting anything he, he he's doing. I said everything he did was wrong. And I, again, I'm not. I don't know him. I don't even watch the show, right? But I know how these shows are done. Like I know how um, the producers of of shows like mm-hmm. this w- will tell somebody that look, this person said something about you to inspire to incite a reaction so that people will watch. Now, it, it, for instance, this Kemen um, uh, kafofo, right? This thing that happened. Do you know how many more million people will start watching Big Brother Nigeria? Of course, it's, go- it's going result, to increase the, the, the it's, amount of yeah, people So that's what I'm saying is that, is that this issue was orchestrated in in order to gain you know viewership i mean like the like the uh, so a lot of people were saying about the last oscars mm-hmm. right where they mixed up the the best mm-hmm. picture that it was orchestrated so and if you looked at it the next couple of days everybody was talking oscars was on for the next one week okay exactly so is- so, so so i again there's nothing there's, i'm not saying there's anything right about what he did and i'm and i'm and it's it's utterly despicable that that happened and what he did was completely wrong and it also further brings out an issue, a big right? Issue. In the Af- in the African community, where people are actually trying to, uh, you know, trying to say um, what he did was wrong. You know, try, try to blame the victim. Uh, uh, no, like no, no, who no, does that? Yeah, they're trying to blame the victim. Yeah, and it's, it, that's that's very very common in Africa. And I, and I and I think it, the the bright side of it is that it it makes it it, it first of all it shows you how people think the general population mm-hmm. is thinking and second of all it allows us to bring to light one of the many issues that people have been quiet about all yeah. this time which is why i want to talk know? about like, this i mean like like i mean in nigeria specifically like when women are walking in the market like you don't feel safe yes you know people can grab you people market follow guys. you around hey baby i'm things. selling jeans hey baby i'm selling shirts pulling you left right center like why are you touching me Dami, don't you like jeans? And no, shirt, but don't though? touch me though. Mm-hmm. You can tell me you're selling jeans and shirt. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I didn't mean, yeah. And it brings me. No, so it's, it's a, a big, big issue. It's a big, it's a big issue, issue, yeah. Which makes me want to yeah. define the word consent to people because I feel like, you know, some people don't understand what this word means or have never heard it. Consent, it means permission for something to happen or agreement to do something. Right? If mm. someone doesn't give you verbal consent, don't go and be touching people. I, I think here here's the bigger the bigger thing, right? Is that even if someone has given you consent before, doesn't yes. mean you will always have exactly, consent. Exactly, because the person let you touch them yesterday, 
doesn't mean they want you to yeah, touch them today. Mean, Maybe because the person yeah, told you, I want fact. you to touch me now. Then you went to the bathroom and came back and the person changed their mind. It's allowed. Yeah. No, it's no, it's still no. Yeah. So, so I, I think, I think that's, and that's part of it is like, oh, well, they slept together or they were yeah, kissing. Yeah, so just they because I let you hold before, my like, hand or mean? kiss me on the, on the hand or the cheek is not a green light to pursue forward or i don't even know the english to speak anymore i'm just discombobulated yeah, t- right now to touch it oh shit discombob let me write this come i'm just like Dis- i'm like that uh, how do you spell I'm that like, what? <laughs> uh, yeah yeah so, so i think you want me to spell it's, it's, discombobulated it's huge, for you you know don't worry don't worry i googled it already you know me i went to school i can spell it you want me to spell it you want me to no, spell no it you want me to spell it in public no, no, no. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. <clears throat> All right. D I S C O M B O B U L A T E D. English teacher. <laughs> ah, ah, la me now. I'm over here dabbing. Dabbing. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Everybody dab with me. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, my old self dabbing. Mm. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so so yeah, so so the, the fact is, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a bigger underlying issue, right? In, in the fact that. Uh, a lot of people still believe that consent implied consent is okay to which the answer is no nope, and it's i blame not. our federal we government need explicit i blame our federal government <laughs> we're back to blaming yes, government no now we blame government in this because there have been law there have been like laws that have been tried to be passed motions that have been tried to be passed in the mm. senate and the house against situations like yeah. this if there were standard laws that prohibited things like that people will not behave like that come to a country like america or in the other parts of the world this will get you in an orange suit i guarantee yeah, you 10, yeah, yeah, 10 to 15 yeah, years definitely. next time if somebody yeah, asks you to touch them you film offense, the person yeah. say, say that again <laughs> yeah i mean and and here's the deal is like um i mean social relationships have become very very a very very touchy it's, issue it's weird i mean it, it, it's i mean sometimes you know people feel that they have the right like even you know a married man saying that you know if if he has sex with his wife okay, by force that it's one, not eh, rape, that one, you know, that those, one is a touchy subject but, but, but that's still consent it's consent it's, it's still but it's a touchy consent. subject Look, because why, why is it touchy there's no touchiness touchy about it no means no, no means it doesn't no. matter if I you're say, married I say or not it's a touchy subject because um based on you know what marriage is supposed to be like religious wise institution of marriage a uh, wife is not yeah. supposed to deny her husband but at the same time no, let no, me no, finish no. now let me no. finish okay but at the same okay time, go ahead eh, body no be machine right sometimes you're tired that, that's what sometimes makes it you not a not touchy the, subject you're you not in the mood so yeah that's where consent comes to play <laughs> you understand there, there's, the, 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 the fact is consent bottom line end of story yes consent. it's wrong married it's wrong or married or not it's wrong yeah and then there are girls too that are and, out there I, and they're going to be grabbing a guy anyhow <laughs> you know, the guy, yeah i mean when it the goes guy both is ways right too. yeah consent is necessary it's mm. not just only for women for men too don't go grabbing men yeah. when they don't want to be with you and try to like you know force them to... consent is necessary. i'm speaking too much english consent is necessary <laughs> can i should i will i yeah. can we question mark you know, I, so i've been celibate for a while well, right? but what i do is like questions if you are celibate or not i'm telling we'll you my life story we'll so that we can i'm linking it we to the linked. story hold on hold on yeah so i've been saying for a while but anytime i come into contact with somebody that i'm interested mm. in i have a form you check here for and old mm. check here for cheek cheek kissing so check you have here a release for a little, form <laughs> Lip, uh, yes and then you sign you you initial no wonder you're celibate you're then, having release form if you want no wonder you're celibate yes if you're married if you want <laughs> if you want spanking put it here if you have if you want to so this off for every female here, that and you then sign will scare you give them a release form not me too that i'm that interested so in and she's weird. interested that in so me weird. that's enough for no, a girl to it's cool. if a man was to present me with a with a release form like i would low key yeah. feel like there's that's more, so romantic you know? that's weird there's low it's there's romantic. low key something worse i feel like maybe he has underlying issues that he just wants to sign away my life so by the time he shows himself he'd be like be like yo dami you agree to this so 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 where does it now come in like because a lot of so i did a lot of surveys on twitter around that same time mm-hmm. right and uh, most most women said 
you know what? I prefer him to spring it on me. Like I, See, like I, I prefer him not women to are ask. Confused. I'm sorry, no, women no. are confused. So, so Dami, women are confused. Dami, you tell I me. Well, would, I, would you like a guy to ask you before he kisses you? I would you? like that. I would very much for a yes, guy to say, "May no, I kiss you?" You're not my you? boyfriend, right? You're not my boyfriend. Yeah, we're dating, mm-hmm. and obviously the sparks okay. are flying. I mean, if you look into my eye, mm-hmm. look into your eye, you know. And you want yeah. to lean in and give me a kiss? You'd be like, I would like. You would like. I would. Dami, I would like to kiss you now. And I'm like, yeah, sure. So, so Not I, I want to kiss you. So have Can guys, I kiss you? No, I, 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 that's I, 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 weird. No way. Have guys? Have guys asked you that no. before? Like, I would like. No to one kiss has you. told me. Can I kiss you or will you kiss me? <laughs> no. I've had a guy, like, I would like yes, to kiss. Ask I've had for permission. A guy that's leaned forward to my yeah. face and he says, I would like to kiss you right now. And he said in the most sexiest way, I was like, kiss away, my brother. Kiss away. Oh I really? Never so damn, you've been kissing. I'm taking you notes. No, in those notes. days when I was in the world, when I was of the world. Oh, so you are now I'm, away yes, from, I'm the from the world. You are saved. You are delivered. Yes, when I was in the <laughs> world, when I did all the things. Yes, like mm. you know, look at so, me and be so like, everybody, are you listening? I would like to, I'd, like damn, I would like, I'd, I'd very much like to give you a kiss. I'm like, yeah, go ahead, brother. Do yeah, it. Okay. Anyway, most women don't agree with you. They said, me, I don't ask. I go, hey, come, come. Me, why, I don't why? ask why? now. That is I'll just give. I'll give those why, body would you movements ask? now. Those body movements. Uh, if no, I so, give so the body language, language is supposed and to. And I lean in, and he leans in, you know, and I look mm-hmm. at him, mm-hmm. and I give so, him the eyes, so, so, and he's so, cashing the drink. So why is it a double standard? It's not double standard. Why is this now? double standard? But you know you can't. That is a double mm-hmm. standard. Mm-hmm. Sex and kissing are two different mm-hmm. things. No, we know we're, we're talking about kissing right now. Right? Why is there a double standard because about kissing? Because everybody that wants, you, everybody that I've kissed wanted to kiss me. I'm mm-hmm. just saying. Like, have uh, you seen my lips? Yeah. Like, <laughs> very kissable. Oh, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> Can you take your lips Even out of the situation? I see myself in Completely. the mirror. I'm like, girl, I just want to kiss you. <laughs> you know what, Dami? You know what, Dami? You know, Dami? Dami? Guys, you know I swear I did not drink today. <laughs> you you know what, Dami? <laughs> you are fake news. <laughs> Completely I'm fake not news. fake news because why, why, that is a why double standard. You You're telling news. me that a guy has to ask you, but you won't ask no, the guy. No, I'm not. See, it's, how will I say this? I've never consent is a two way street. street. End of story. End of it's story. A sh- I yes. get it, but so don't go kissing guys. Don't kiss guys if you don't want to ask. I get it, it, but like I'm not gonna be like I want to kiss you now. Like what's that? What's that? Yeah, that's yeah, weird. That's consent. But then, my, it, my, but my then girl, again, just consent. the way I am, just the way I'm set up, the way mm-hmm. the way the way this yeah. situation is set up, you know, I There's create no the, mark. I create None. the avenue for us to kiss. Me. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. But like, if it's, okay, so you guide him yeah. to the question. Yeah, but if it's like my mm. boyfriend, ain't nobody asking nobody no questions. I'm going in for the kill. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, see, but so, so for instance, right? If 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 your boyfriend, right, and I'm sure this has mm-hmm. happened, right? If your boyfriend is in the mood, but you're not in the mood, you know, to do the jengbe jengbe, you know. You just want um, to kiss me in public. So if my mother is hearing this, what I'm hearing, what I'm doing. I want to your question. No, no, oh, you can ask me the same question. You can. Ask, so if your boyfriend is in the mood and you're not in the mood, I mean, that's definitely a consent yeah, situation, if, right? Listen, if my boyfriend uh, is not uh, in the mood, but I'm in the mood, mm-hmm. I can persuade mm-hmm. him to be in the mood. Oh, but if after that's no, listen. Standard. Persuading him is not forcing myself on him. I'm giving him reasons why he should change his mind. And if I give him those reasons why he changed his mind, and his mind is mm. unchangeable, then I'm just going to yeah. accept things the way they are and go make myself a nice cup of tea. And, and oh 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 oh, and we should watch out for uh, situations in which alcohol or you know um, yeah, drugs like, are involved. Yeah, like why would you want to kiss someone There's, that's I mean, consent during uh, when rape. when somebody is under the influence rape. is. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not let's not let's then not you, ex- no extend one, it all the way there. Someone that is drunk Wait. cannot consent. It's not in their. It's not in a sane yeah. state of mind to consent to any sexual activity. That is rape. Let me get to where I was oh, going yeah, now, Tammy. Okay, so what I said was consent while somebody is under the influence of any drugs or alcohol is implied consent and implied consent is still illegal don't put yourself in the position where you're gonna have to now start having to prove that somebody was yeah. you know not under the influence exactly. or that kind of thing yeah, yeah. and what's so, it was so bad consent so what's the big deal like okay just ask what's the words that the person can say no the person says no it's not the end mm. of the world you're not going to die uh, whatever you. you are feeling is temporary it's, it's not the end of the world 
you know not that mm. i'm advocating for you to go out there and be a thought but there are many fishes in the river that might agree to what you need but like don't force anybody okay. to do anything i'm going to write that, that quote down do there are many fishes in the river mm. be respectful of people and their sexual choices and needs and timing that's it low baton i agree i agree mm-hmm. so ladies and gentlemen this is dj wuske and dami o on the P- <laughs> on the pdc podcast i will be right back after this short break thanks for staying with us so far we'll be right back it's your boy dj wuske and you're tuned into the pdc podcast all right wuske we're back hi guys Hope you're still here. Now we're going to sit mm-hmm. down through this whole quiz thing that he does on a what? week. I'm dabbing. I'm dabbing. I'm oh, dabbing yeah. again. Start the quiz. Start the quiz. Dab, 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 dab. Okay. All right. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for uh, Wolf Care's Play Data Charts Quiz. <laughs> okay. So, on our website, playdatacharts.com, we have... Uh, charts, iTunes charts, Spotify charts, YouTube charts, and then on a weekly basis, we release the Play Data charts, which is uh, radio charts uh, born out of uh, of uh, radio plays um, or uh, of your local radio stations um, around Africa. So this week on our quiz, uh, question one: Are you ready, Dami? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. So you need at least two out of three to pass. Here we so. go again. And please, no personal question about your likes, wants, and needs. I'm not interested. Don't worry, I promise. I promise there are no personal questions. Okay, okay, fantastic. Anyway, number one, how many songs did Ed Sheeran have on the Spotify charts between March 5th and March 11th, 2017? Wait, am I monitoring spirits? See this guy. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. I have options for you. Eh? Option one, okay. one. Option two, four. Option three, eight. Option four, Five. What are we talking about again? <laughs> uh, oh gosh, Ed Sheeran. Oh my goodness. Yeah, what happened to you? Oh lord. Okay. How many songs did Ed Sheeran have on the Spotify charts between March fifth and March eleventh, twenty seventeen? How many songs? How many songs? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Ed. Sh- on the top. T- on, on the, the top, top 10. ten. Let me see. Hmm. Uh, so option one. There's so a one, b eight. No, no, no. A1, B5, C8, D4. Oh. Change that up. Eight, you. Just in case. Yeah. Eight, right? You are wrong. How many? It's five. Listen, it's five. I, it's five. I, it's five. I, just, just in case everybody is wondering. That, just in case people are wondering. You know, because mm-hmm. I know you like to. I like Ed Sheeran. Just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, but yeah, un- un- unfortunately, you it's didn't okay. get it right. So, um, sorry, um, Ed Sheeran between March 5th and March 11th had five songs out of his Divide album on Spotify. That, album. that, album. that, that, that album, album is so sick. sick. I mean, not even, even sick, it's just it's so diverse, it's 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 insane how and how it works, it, it functions as. A bunch of singles and it functions as an, as an as album, album as well. As I just, well, I just yeah. love, it. yeah, yeah. It's really, really sweet. I like that um, whole thing that he did with the whole Ghanaian thing too. I was like, yes, they did Sharon. it in their, yeah, in Tui, yeah, in their uh, look, one of their uh, yes, indigenous I was like, languages. Yeah, yeah. Ed Sharon, yeah. get it, get it, get it. He's been eating yeah. some banku and fish. Oh, uh, can you stop that? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> 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 question, question number two: How many songs does Ed Sheeran have on the current? iTunes charts. That's today, March twenty third. Ha! Can I do Expo? I, I, I mean, uh, you have ten seconds. So, uh, um, for those who are who are listening right now, you you can go on the iTunes charts on uh, playthecharts.com to check it out. But give me the option. Five. Give me the option. Oh, okay. Option A, five. Option B, six. Option C, seven. Option D, two. Five. Wrong again. The answer is two. <laughs> you just want to disgrace Whoa. me today. Hi. Jesus okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So the question number three. <laughs> okay. Question number three. Uh, one of these three things is Woske's favorite thing. 
Oh God, here we go with the personal right. questions. So, so no, What's there? We don't care what you do at your spare time. It's not personal. This is public life. knowledge. No, Was damn it, come on. This is... Was Kelly. <laughs> That's not my name. I'm sorry. What's Kelly? I reject, I reject that for my career. What's Kelly? Yeah, I don't, I don't accept <laughs> that. I'm sorry. Okay, so the answer eh, of this question, the, the three options you have. One, fried plantain. Number two, indomie. Number three, massage. Massage and, indo- and fried plantain. No, one of these three now. You didn't listen to the question. Massage. It's massage. You choose massage. Is that your final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. You've been cheating. How do you know it's massage? Because you asked me the same question two weeks ago, my guy. It's a lie. I didn't, I didn't you see your question. memory. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a lie. That, see, there are two things. You really, yeah. really want this massage. <laughs> you want me yeah. to either do it or pay for you. But, but Dami, when am I getting my massage? Do I look like a masseuse? You don't have to be a masseuse. You just put your fingers I on my went, neck like this. See, you know, I went to my, university to study international business strategy, not massage okay. therapy. And if you come and strategize all over my shoulders, what's up now? Lord of God, beef. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our Predator Charts quiz for the week. This is what I have to do with, guys. This guy has been bugging me on this massage. It ain't gonna happen. I want, I want a massage. You have consent. So why? why what is holding you back? Okay, my consent says no. Ah, no, you don't have to consent. Come and massage my Me, shoulder, I'm, 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 I have to consent when I want to put my hands on your body. I said no. On my fresh, on my fresh shoulders. I'm not interested. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, <laughs> on a weekly basis, we post a lot of charts, uh, some blog content, some gossip, some fashion. And we also have uh, uh, updates on what's going on in, you know, in, in uh, publishing, copyright and monitoring Um on our website so feel free to visit uh, playdatacharts.com for more updates um and um we're coming to the end of the show uh dami do you have anything final to say to everybody at home it's spring <laughs> it's, it's spring it's spring, it's spring. It's is that that's spring. the what's the weather in a uh, uh, um, in uh, new york city in the 50s spring is here do you know what that, that one means? is spring do you 50s know what is means? spring do you know, excuse uh, me not everybody, be wearing, not everybody be lives wearing, in the desert not everybody lives in the desert but so it means you, you'll be wearing less and going out more no do, no you don't know what it means okay tell me what it means ask me dami what does that mean dami what yes, does spring honey. mean it means that we are av- we are approaching bay watch season that's what i said now you're wearing less and going out no. more no that's not what I mean by bay watch season. Oh, you're looking for husband. No, bay. Okay, what's, bay, what's, what's, what's bay, bay watch bay? season? Because you know during the winter time, everybody's sitting down at home, hibernating, yeah. Netflix mm. and chilling, doing yeah. things that they're not supposed to do. You okay, know? yeah. But when mm. the sun is out and it's bright yeah. and the flowers are blooming and all the beautiful mm. colors, you can wear your pastels and your bright colors. You know what happens? You're the looking boys for husband. Come out, the girls mm. come out and it's bay mm. watching season. So you are looking for husband? Not necessarily. I just like to see ah, beautiful things. Dami doesn't like. Ah, Dami, come on now. I mean, there's this thing going I on just, Twitter called I, the tall, tall guy Twitter. Have you seen that? I have. I just like to see beautiful things. I like to see beautiful people. I like to see well dressed guys and well dressed women. And I yeah, want go to on, see them go interact. Go on, tall guy Twitter. There's and, nothing wrong and with find that. Your, find your find your guy on tall guy Twitter and leave us out of it. You I don't, don't want, want a tall guy watch. Twitter. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about <laughs> me. I'm I'm good. You'll be all right. I'm good. Okay, but yeah, it's Baywatch. It's about to be Baywatch season. Mm-hmm. Not Baywatch anyway. like the show. Bay as in B-A-E. Bay. Well, the movie is coming out very soon. So, And they didn't sponsor the show. But anyway, since Dami said it, they should send us money. Hey, Baywatch, uh, The Rock, send us money. What are you? We're, we're, yeah, I'm not interested in I'm talking about uh, Bay. Fine boys. Fine humans. Fine things. Dami, you're a bride of Christ. Stop these things. Ah, I'm a bride of Christ. Doesn't mean I'm blind. Who not likes the better <laughs> thing? I like to be in a beautiful ambience, seeing beautiful things, seeing the creatures of God that God created beautifully. Don't corrupt my mind, please. We are okay. at the end of our show, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you, guys. And, um, and we hope you'll join us for our next episode where we'll be talking to some more fantastic people and about some more fantastic stuff that's going on. Yeah. So, this is your boy, DJ Wuske with Dami O. <laughs> and this is the PDC podcast. Have a good night. Take care, guys. Have a good night, guys. We love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Play data monitors all radio stations in your region and chart songs by number of plays.
Welcome to the PDC Podcast.